Hello, it's Wednesday, it's VSC Day, virtual shopping channel. <laughs> Woo. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Unintentional twinsies. I'm big grin, so I have to do this now. So. <laughs> Welcome to the Sun Dragon Sideshow. The VSC edition. Because it's Wednesday. Virtual shopping channel. And I couldn't find my little sticky. And I know I'll find it now because I made a new sticky for our sign. Yep. Made a new sticky. And <laughs> the, the pile yes. of loveliness sitting in front of us came in. Oh. Oh, yes, but, but, but hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion. I'm responsible for unboxing all the bags of lovely goodies <laughs> that came in yesterday. And, um, and that's in case, because I think we had a few people join us uh, just from yesterday, because we showed off our My Lovely Papillon, and then it got shared on the Papillon, the Butterfly Knit Along group. And so we might be picking up some, some new watchers and subscribers from that. And sorry, we don't show off Papillons every day. We used to in the beginning. And well, I shouldn't say that. We show off like mid parks. Liz is always working on at least one Papillon. 11 on needles now. Yeah. And I'm glad Five that's done. the back side so you can't see how no. beautiful it is. What? Five done. I'm building She's a collider. Bajillion. Bajillion. Um, and, and it's related that she's working on a Papillon right now out of some of the lovely goodness, I would say on this table, but she bogarted the entire colorway. I did. This. And don't feel guilty at all. And we may come back and talk about it um, in a couple of minutes, uh, the loveliness that she bogarted that I'm going to see if I can get more of, but there's a whole story behind that. Anyway, um, yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, life, life, you know, life is just, I, I have no words. Yeah, I'm out of words. But we, um, we got, we, we have Lorna's laces to show you today, which makes me so happy. Because Lorna's laces is, um, a lot of you, as I adjust myself here, um, a lot of the recent episodes, we had at least, you know, shout out to Shia going, what is that pink and blue over your shoulder? A lot of what this um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, twisty had on it was our lovely Lorna's Laces. They are a company that was centered out of Chicago, um, indie dye company. They had moved their operations to Kentucky, so closer to us. And, and they just have beautiful, beautiful yarns. Um, they have so many different bases that they dye the same exact colors onto, and it will look different in every base. We tend to order the shepherd base in different thicknesses, different weights, and that is 100% um, superwash wool, except the sock weight will also have some nylon in it, which is great for sock big slash fingering, which it's is great for socks. It's not just superwash wool, it's superwash knitting. That's what I, Liz has to interpret for me because I forget my words sometimes, um, and that's what I meant. P people will expect. Well, it, it's what, what? Like a definition of either roving gangs of sheep or... Yeah. Well, here's the crazy thing, is that people, there are still very much a large portion of the population that will hear wool and go, ooh, itchy. But will hear merino and go, ooh, soft, yay. And merino is a type of wool. It's a type of sheep. Uh, but it's, it is. It's one of the very softest soft, wools. And so, yeah, wool does not have to be itchy and scratchy. And it's super functional and it's it's wonderful. Um, not all merino is superwash though. Which and superwash is just fancy language for you can put it in, in some ways. It's fancy language for you can put it in the washing machine. It's I don't want to say it's dishwasher safe. It's it's washing machine safe. Um, and part of how they do that is um, some people like this and some people don't. But it's a process of de almost descaling the wool. Because wool, if you look at it under a microscope, it's really 
It has little, little barbs. It has little barbs or scales that overlap. And um, one of the reasons you don't want to put 100% wool that's not superwash, even merino, into the washing machine usually is because it felt, because all of those scales and barbs open up with the heat and agitation and grab onto each other and clamp down. And that is, that is what we call felting. Um, and when you felt on purpose, it's amazing. When in, you felt on accident, it is devastating. It, when it happens by accident, it's the saddest day ever because that wonderful sweater you were going to wear now fits your child's American Girl doll. So, <laughs> but um, Superwash has taken off those scales, um, has applied either applied a coating or done a stripping of some fashion that means that there are no scales to do that. So if you put it in the wash, uh, you should be able, you should be fine. Um, it can actually soften it up a bit, which is great. It can change how it's going to block and wear a little bit. So caution on that. I've heard horror stories of superwash just going when you block it. It's never happened to me. So I can report that people say that happens. I've not had it happen. But then again, when I block, which is that first washing where you can regulate the stitches, I don't soak it and, and um, spin it out and then just go, let's lay it out to dry. Because yeah, that will grow. I will carefully measure, unless I want it to grow, like with my shawl yesterday. Um, if I'm making a sweater, and my, um, my niece's sweater was super washed wool, not merino, just wool. I will lay it out and, and while it's damp, if it wants to grow, I will actually gently nudge it and settle it into the dimensions I want. And nine times out of 10, as it dries, it will fluff back up and it will, it will go to those dimensions. Not all the time, but most of the time. But if you just go like, I'm gonna lay it out and flatten it and let it dry or pin it to where it naturally wants to lay, damp you will have issues. Yeah. So. It just, you know, when, like, the stitches. It'll be like, yay, this is my new up. shape. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, okay, that's my little um, monologue about superwash um, merino or wool. And the other thing I will follow up with, because, you know, I'm never done, <laughs> is I have people who say, I'll say, this is not machine washable. And they're like, oh no, like everything here is machine washable. And they'll, they'll, they'll kind of freak. And, but can I hand wash? You can hand wash anything you make. In fact, I would, I would recommend, even if it's machine washable, if you have the option and the time, hand wash your handmade goods because they will last longer. Yeah. But I also know that I will make things for my, um, my sister and the kids that I know they don't have time to hand wash. And yeah, um, I'm, I'm now remembering, okay, one of my first interactions with Lauren's Laces was at the shop that I used to be a minion at. I used to be Liz at. Um, and I got these pastels and I made a whole dress for my niece, Sarah. And I think she can almost still kind of wear it as a jumper now, which is kind of cool. It was like a sundress with little and the pooling was different in different sections. It was kind of funky and cool. And again, I made it for my niece when she was probably like five, and she's 11 now, um, because her mom could throw it. It was really nice and hand dyed, but her mom could throw it in the washing machine. It, I, I like superwash for the idea that sometimes I'm not the only one at the house doing laundry. And occasionally those in my house decide they're going to be helpful and just grab up a load and chuck it in and i have some wool dress or i had some wool dresses from way back in the day that yeah wound up washed and dried and they weren't it was pro it was wool wool fabric and the, yeah so with the superwash if there's anybody else grabbing laundry and your sweater, your shawl, your whatever happens to be laying around, which it'll survive. It'll survive. And honestly, we, um, superwash wool and merino is really popular right now. And 
we have a lot of it in the shop, but we have a lot of stuff. Like someone came by yesterday looking for stuff for a sweater and they wanted it machine washable. And I, I was like, yeah, we don't have that much for you then. Especially if it's going to be in a more affordable range. It really depends. We have some affordable, but it'll be limited. And then we have some fancy hand dye and it will be a little wider range, but hand dyed stuff, even if it's made by a big company is going to be a little more expensive. It also is going to be even in the same dye lot, you can get the same dye lot, but it may look really different skein to skein. The, the fiber space we were showing off, which was another superwash merino a few weeks ago, um, same thing, skein to skein, you may find huge variations. So sweater quantities, sometimes it's recommended, you alternate skeins, you, it, you gotta do what you're comfortable with, what your I don't care bar is set at. I, I for, for, the yarn I boat guarded, there is noticeable differences between the, the skeins that I got. And luckily, but doing a papillon, nobody's cleaning. It's gonna, it's gonna be like, okay, so what? Pools yeah. here, pools there, does little speckles lighter or darker, and papillons are awesome for the, any yarn and any combo. And oh, yeah, you can great for using um, up scraps. Uh, if you have really nice yarn that you bought and you get the little, you know, like you have scrap yarn of leftovers. Leftovers. Use up your leftovers Use in a papillon. Yarn. Absolutely. Um, so my last like introduction to Lauren's laces, because y'all are like, like I'm drooling over this, but I can't see details. What the heck? Is um my the, my a uh, uh, yarn shop's relationship with Lauren's laces is usually such. They have like I got a box that was like this deep of color cards to flip through when I started ordering from Lawrence Laces. And they've added more colors since then. And it's like, you can pick the base and you can pick the colorways. They have so many colorways. I was putting this new, this whole new batch in and I had to add color names and my color names were already this long, most of which we don't have in the shop right now because you have two options with Lawrence Laces. Um, you can order the specific colors you love and hold dear to your heart, like, um, one of our favorites is called Christmas at Downton. And I've done these, these really cute gloves. It's the background color that changes. So the, the thumb is like the only piece that you can see what the color actually does. It's so beautiful. Um, I could order that and wait two months. And now that they're kind of short staffed, because everybody's short staffed right now, I'd probably have to wait longer than two months. Or, I can go on, a lot of, lot of dyeing companies are like that, Sweet Georgia, you know, a lot of companies, um, Malabrigo sometimes, um, or you can say, you can go to their, what they have in stock right now, because they dyed a big batch to fill someone's order, but they only needed half of what they dyed, because you know, dyeing, when you're, when you're indie dyer, and you do a small batch dyeing, you can dye like four or eight skeins at a time. When you are a big company like Lorna's Laces, if someone wants one bag, of eight skeins of one color, it's not cost effective. So they'll dye like six bags and then they'll have five on the shelf for in stock now. So I, when, whenever I have a chance to order from them, I go to their in stock now and I go, ooh, that could be fun. Ooh, we got that before and I love it. Ooh, I don't know what that one's gonna really look like. I've looked online or I have the color swatches, but let's take a gamble. And honestly, everything they have is beautiful. And, and some of what we, got in this box was let's take a gamble mm -hmm. it looks cool the pictures that we can find but and and mostly looks better when we see yeah. it in person everything tends to look better in person um and we try for a for a range so we're not just getting all blue yarn you know that that's the one thing we're trying to avoid so i would say without further ado but there was a lot of ado in there so <laughs> because if you watched yesterday like, it was really funny. Again, this is going to piss some people off because I still haven't showed you the yarn. But um, Christine shared our video from yesterday on the knit along group. And she's like, she's like, go, she actually said, go to, go to minute 23 if you want to see the papillon. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> That's a long time to wait. But then there was the irony of, of the, the title of yesterday's episode was a meandering, like, suspense-provoking wait for the papillon but our thumbnail was the papillon. So yeah, anyway. Okay, where do you wanna start, Liz? Um, you wanna start with worsted? <laughs> okay, yes, we'll start with, we have worsted, we have sport, and we have fingering. Um, 
And we have two and I have one, I said. She's plotting. This is great. No, we, we should have four. So we'll have to figure this out. Um, no, we had four. Uh -uh. We have, we'll figure it out. Um, I'm pretty sure we have four worsted, we have four sport, and we have, we had, no, 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 four. You wrote down five and one of them was a, was a sport. Anyway, we might edit some of this out because we're, we're bickering about things we don't need to bicker about. Perfect. We'll figure it out. We had four. Oh. Sorry. You still had to put it nine in times the out of ten. Liz is right. We are both right. <laughs> we are both right, but we still have. So this is no longer available for sale. That's why Liz is right, and you all can be mad at her. So okay, uh, I'm okay with that because <laughs> I I was going off my brain from yesterday from what I put. I was system. here when it got here. All and, right. You know. So worsted weight. It is. I would classify it as a light worsted. Um, it is beautiful and squishy and soft it could almost work for dk weight patterns because again it is a light worsted you want to read stats on it stats um you get 225 yards for four ounces which is just slightly over 100 yards or 100 grams um you keep talking i gotta go look for something it recommends 4.5 stitches for an inch on a us7 well, let me tell you though on a 10.75 the mythological needles Super soft, super scrunchy. Sorry, had to like let you know. Machine, um, wash cold, machine dry until just damp and then lay flat to finish. Just so that, you know, all your stuff falls back into place. Um, this one is Robot Overlord. It is reds and browns and just little bits of golds. Yummy, yummy goodness. Keep going, keep going. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And then, doing very well. <laughs> then we have Frankenstein's Cotillion. It is, it is really, really, really cool. It's like the almost robin eggs blue and then yellows and little dashes of greens. It's might, so springy, I, but pale and yummy. I might have to get some so order soon. You got so much already. <laughs> There's lots I want in this grouping. Anyway, and then we got Sweetie. It's a Doctor Who reference, right? Oh, yes, it is. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> anyway, so she she has, I had to get prices because we haven't stickered any of this yet. No. Um, so she had one that was called Bigger on the Inside, which was super dark blue, like TARDIS. Bigger on the Inside is a TARDIS Doctor Who reference. Yeah. And we have like at least one skein of that left. And by the way, because we have to put it all away, this is empty and very distracting right now because we have to redo everything. So, Sweetie, um, I am taking as a reference to River Song. That's who, what, yeah. Hello, Sweetie. Hello, Sweetie. So, we had to get it. Oh my gosh, we had to get it. Um, did you show all of them off? All three of them. That's right, because we had four. This one, showing our microphone now, was <laughs> that, okay. So that one, there's a little story too, because we're gonna move to the um, sport weight, but I should mention, this is why I went and wrote it down. The worsted weight ones are 27.75 a skate. Um, oh my gosh, this is so soft. I know, I'm telling um, you. One of our favorite colors, and I'm really stealing this from Liz, but then she can explain that one, um, is zombie barbecue. This is, we're moving to sport weight now. So this is, this is um, much thinner than, than worsted but not so thin as fingering weight. Um, this is zombie barbecue, which Liz has a whole bunch of at home in different weights and she really loves. And actually it was one of the few Lorna's laces I still had from my old yarn shop. And it's just fun. You know, you've got um, like the monster green, um, the version Liz Bogarted has a little more grello in it, but the zombie barbecue is really, it's red, it's like a purpley gray and it's a couple different shades of green. It's just, it's, it's awesome. It's really great. Um, and this is, is often what the variegated look like. Um, sometimes when they're reskained like the sweetie, they will end up with, you just see all the colors. 
So what is this, Liz, that you both This, like? so Rebecca, when she sent the, the order into Lorna's Laces, was like, and we want the zombie apocalypse yarn, because the, the shawls I've made out of zombie barbecue, I refer to them as my zombie apocalypse shawls. So and my brain was just... Her brain. And, and then she was like, oh, wait, that's what we're living through. Yeah. I mean, the zombie barbecue. And the gal goes, that would be a cool name for a yarn that we did that spatter shot. So it's all just like colors everywhere. She was like, oh, maybe I should call it zombie apocalypse 2020. Yeah. So I was like, well, I really don't want the spatter shot. I want the zombie barbecue. And so I was planning on buying up the sport weight zombie barbecue for a, a shawl. And then the spatter shot got in. And it has Grello and it's pretty. And I went, ooh, mine. And, and, and she said she had a few, few bags of, a splatter shot that was um, based off it's of zombie barbecue. Based off of zombie barbecue. And I was like, oh yeah, throw in a bag of that. And now I'm going to have to say, hey, do you have any left? Because we probably need all of it. My minion took it. Yeah. Again, it's one of those in stock now, we will get more. If it's not in stock now, we cannot guarantee when it will be back in stock. So hold that up again. This is, this is, whoops. Yeah, hold the, 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 yeah. It's so pretty. It's got a little more neon -y than this does. Like, based off of this, I'm going to hold that and where the white is. There you go. Every yeah. base takes the coloring a little different. Yeah. Like, the worsted that I have is a little bit brighter than this. And you've got chunky. And the chunky of, is, of this is more yeah. like these colors, mm -hmm. you know. Every just, base, because of the twist, because of the thickness, is going to take colors differently. We had the, um, the Christmas at Downton in worsted in bulky and in fingering and it looked a little different in each it but it was you could tell it was the same color right? it was gorgeous. gorgeous so moving on to the um sport. the sport weight and i'm gonna fondle the zombie barbecue because dream. she's got all the zombie pockets uh, i like to think i might have had a hand in naming it but maybe not in some sport <laughs> i will read stats if you want to show off the okay um first show off what your color is this or is, take this one this is pullman it is. It is um, grays, but there's some hints of purpley grays in there. Hints of purple. Yeah. It's neutral, but there's little bits of what I would define as kind of purple. Gorgeous, dark and broody, mm -hmm. just absolutely okay. gorgeous. So she's giving stats. It is 200 yards for two ounces, so like just over 50 grams. Um, mm -hmm. Six stitches per inch on a US four. Machine wash, fold, machine dry until just damp. Like let's finish. Mm -hmm. Woman. Um, this is one of their new colors as of last year. It's called Natchez. So their splatter shot is really pretty. Natchez. We should have one more. Hummerdale. Ooh. For all of you Did you perky do? fans, that sucked. That sucked. Um, for all of you perky fans, which was a day glow, dark, bright, blue, purple. This is Summerdale. It's a splattery. It is not quite as dark as the camera showing it off. It is bright. You got bright pink. You got dark, broody, navy, and purple. And oh my gosh. Um, so these are, do we explain? It's kind of, we have ounces instead of grams. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, so these are like slightly more than 50 grams to squirt weight. Smaller amounts than you get in the fingering or uh, in terms of weight in the fingering or worsted weight. But um, they are nineteen seventy five a piece. They're um, I just looked. And at we have the tons of label on the sock. Their label on the sock goes by grams instead of ounces. So ounces for worsted, ounces for sport, grams. Not to be confusing at all. But we confusing. still love them. They're still wonderful. So for sock, I'm going to show off my all-time favorite fingering. sock slash fingering. The reason it's sock is it has nylon. Mm -hmm. All sock, sock is sock. fingering weight, not all fingering weight is sock weight. And that most of that's the having some nylon in it to make it more durable for socks. You can make socks out of stuff that doesn't have nylon, but it might wear out faster. The splattery ones that like what Liz is about to show you are really great for like the Casapinka patterns that have come out this year for when you need a variegated and solid. Um, so I'm doing a dark and broody papillon, my red and black one. It's out of this in worsted weight, but this is the fingering weight. It's called oxygen. It is so dark and broody. This batch is Reds and splatters of black and oh my gosh, it's so fun. 
So the Shepherd sock is 80% superwash merino and wool, 20% nylon. You get approximately 430 yards per 100 grams, seven stitches per inch it's a, on a US one. It's a pretty um, standard ramage and yardage for a sock slash fingering weight. Oxygen. We're just dark mm -hmm. and broody red. It is 31.75 a stain. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. We have overhaul. Overhaul is a new color as of last year, and it's got like taupey, but then dark and broody reds and greens and golds and mm -hmm, that bleed in with each other yeah. a little bit. Oh my gosh! I think there's even some blues or purples in there. Mm -hmm. It just oh, it's like broody rainbow. Yeah. Flatter. Cozumel. Cozumel is another new one, I believe, and. That is more like confetti, like bright. It's like Castle Pinka loves the bright pinks and blues and yay. And that, that's as close as we probably come in the shop. It's not totally neon. It's like dark neon. Nitrogen is a color we've had before. It's mm -hmm. blues. Looks like blue jean blues almost. Mm -hmm. And then it's got little pops of orange in it. Which is really hard for the camera to pick up, but it's there. Um, nitrogen and oxygen are part of their... Um, their elements series. I think we have some argon left from a long time ago, um, which we'll try to get some of this up online. We have Hohi's Cathedral. Hohi Locatelli, it I believe gorgeous. they designed this for one of her shawls that she put out um, several years ago. It is somewhat neutrally gray purple, and then there's little hints of other colors in it. It's really pretty. It's considered one of their splatter shops too. It's got more gray, yeah. Then we have Natchez, which we also have in the sport weight. Really great way to see how different weights take the color differently. And last but not least, watercolor. So, I mean, it's like kind of muddy watercolors, but also really pretty, pretty, pretty tones. Oh my gosh. So, um, this is some of what they had in stock that I was like, ooh, ooh. And if I can get a little more in, I will. It depends on cash flow, you know. But you know, I'd love to get some more because we just we love their stuff. It's great. And now they're closer to us. Yay. So and hopefully by tomorrow it will all be here so you can see it mm -hmm. hanging and um <laughs> and uh yeah, yeah. If we we have our first interior shopper today and a lesson outside. So even though that's only two customers, it's going to be a very full day. And, and I gave that chuckling sigh because we have been trying for two weeks to clean the shop up. And, and Amy's we not really going to know it. She's going to go, what? And we're going to say, this is why we haven't let people in. We've been trying. And it's, it, no, it's not happening. Anyway, so, um, and this is the table where people will probably shop from. And so we need to get all this stuff off before two o'clock today, um, which it might be when this is published. Um, Really quickly, we're going to talk about notion. one notion because this took up a lot of time and that's fine. Um, we're going to talk about beam and read, and we have two varieties of these. So, this is the classic original, which is what I'm about to show off to you, and we also have a slightly larger one in purple. I'm going to pass this one over to Liz. The, um, the original is 2250, it has three lights on it. If I hold this up. There are three LED bulbs in this. This is a way to see your knitting. I will show you how it works in a second. It says read, it's also knit. Um, this has three LED bulbs in it. How many bulbs does yours have? This one has six LED. Twice as big. Not necessarily like twice as raw, but you know, twice, twice as bright. And how much is that one? This one is 33.75. Okay, so about $10 difference. Um, it's also purple. Like yours is just standard black. Mine's this black. One's the ones purple. we first got it. That's classic purple. Ooh. This. If I didn't already have one, I'd be like. This is also a extra wide beam. Mm -hmm. So. So the, here's how it works: is you take the bulb side down and you put it over your head, and you can adjust this. I've I've had mine so long I've had to <laughs> fix it. Um, you can adjust this so it is like, I don't want it so out of the camera as, or down so you can't see it. So you have this, it says flip up light right here, just hang straight down and you flip up the light you, and it has different positions. You have straight down. I can show it off to the camera a little bit more. 
and you can have it. It works really well if you knit right about here. I, ha I will say I've had customers with macular degeneration or who have to hold their knitting closer. And it's hard to get this. You can bend it up so you can maybe work here. But if you really have to hold your knitting up close to your eyes, this one might not be the best. But for a lot of people, it's really great to have extra light, like for the dark yarns and other things like that. They both use four AA batteries. Um, you can buy the adapter we have separately. We have like one adapter if you want to plug something into the back here and actually plug it into the wall. You yep. can get more. But um, I've had these batteries like for a while and I've been showing this off to people and it is still working really well. They also come with an orange and red filter. And here's the deal with that. So this is, this is just not just, I say natural. This is just the bright white light. Here's the orange one. Uh, I would put, you just snap it right on. And you can still, it still adds extra light. I used this when we were driving back from Florida a couple years ago and Brian was driving and I didn't want to distract him with glare. So I could still see at night to knit on the 10 hour drive home. But, um, but it wasn't going to act absolutely drive him bonkers. And then it's got a red one too. And there's this cute little chart on the back there. So here's the red one. They it, still have light. The, the chart on the back talks about orange and red filters give the option to block energizing, eye-stressing eye blue light when you want to relax. Use this light with filters instead of an e-reader's built-in light. Mm -hmm. So knitting late at night where you need the extra light because it's dark out, but you want to go to bed soon. It's like the orange filter. It's like the yellow screen on your phone that might kick in at a certain time of night so that you can go to sleep and not be over energized. So really, really cool. Highly recommend this. Um, I like to carry it in my knitting bag just in case. I mean, great thing to do, especially with these filters. If say it's movie night and you want to knit and everyone else in the family is like, but mom, I want to watch the movie and then I can't see the movie because we haven't turned enough lights off in the house. So not that that's ever happened. Um, it's really great. They're really, really super awesome as they get caught on my little pigtails. Um, so that was a quick plug for those because we need to get ready for the day. And I think we've already been going for over half an hour. We keep getting longer. Sorry. We'd love to hang out with you all day though, but you know, work. So, yeah. And we love what we do. We're just exhausted because pandemic. So, um, that's our story this year. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, so, you know, thanks for hanging out with us. I will do my best to get this stuff up online, but honestly, usually we get this stuff up online because I have all afternoon free, free from working in the shop and we have a customer this afternoon and it's our first time letting someone in. <laughs> so, um, I'll get it up as soon as I can. Love you so much. Thank you for being part of our community. Stay tuned tomorrow for the adventures of Liz and Rebecca. Straight up side show. Straight up side show. Like us, share us, ding the bell, subscribe, thing, subscribe, all that good all stuff. That fun stuff. We are we're pushing towards four hundred subscribers. That's really fun. So, which you know, um, a mega YouTube star might be like, yeah, that's, that's cute, and I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing, that's so great. <laughs> so, stay safe, everybody. Um, I'm gonna try to stay safe as I try not to trip on my computer bag. And there's no projects here for me to trip on this time which means I'm more likely to trip. So, we'll see you later. Bye.